Hello. Thank you for joining Matthews Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to discuss conversion routines. Conversion routines are part of inquiry routines. Conversion routines are used to manipulate data in a field before displaying to the user in inquiry. There are only two steps to get conversion routines up and running. First of all, you need to write, compile, and catalog your subroutines, and then you need to attach your subroutine to the field 18 of the inquiry you intend to use. So, to be able to demonstrate conversion routines, here is the assignment. Assume you are tasked to create an inquiry which will display a list of transactions in this format. A reference, which is FT number. We have a transaction type. We have a debit account. We have debit currency and a debit amount. When you look at this task, it seems uh, pretty simple, right? We need to create an inquiry which has only five fields, five columns. And this inquiry is based on FT. So to save our time, I've already created this inquiry. So I can launch it and see how it looks like. Oh, let's use the browser, by the way. Okay. So I'm going to log in. All right, so our inquiry is called mtd.ft.list because we want to list uh, FT transactions. So let's launch it. All right, as you can see, we have our inquiry up and running. We have the reference, we have transaction type, we have a debit account, a debit currency, and a debit amount. But if you look closely here, uh, we have a problem. So for these transactions, we don't have any debit amount, okay? This and this, here we don't have a debit amount. And this, so we have some transactions for which we don't have any debit amount. Why we don't have debit amount? It is because when booking these transactions, our only credit amount was specified. So it's pretty valid to have only credit amount or debit amount when booking a transaction. Okay, so uh, we can view one of this FT. Let's see. FT C and we put our FT. All right, as you can see here, we have transaction type. We do have a debit account number, a debit currency, credit currency, credit amount, but we don't have debit amount. So when booking this transaction, the debit amount was not specified. So how do we get this debit amount? Lucky enough, uh, there is a field called amount debited. So the amount debited will, will be always populated. So as you can see here, we have amount debited was 1,975 and 40 cents in USD which was equivalent to 1,000 GBP. As you can see, the rate is 1.9754, okay? So this answers to our question partially because as you can see, this field populates the currency plus the amount. So we have two components in, in one field but we need to be able to split these two or to have uh, the debit currency and the debit amount without a currency. So let's perform the first step. We are going to modify our inquiry to include uh, this amount debited instead of a debit 
a month. So let's do that. So for that, we're going to modify our inquiry. So we use the application called inquiry and mtd.ft.list is our inquiry. So we go to field 14.7 and the field is called amount dot debited. Okay. Good. We validate. It's done. Good. Let's see. So we log out. I think also here yeah, we need to log out in the browser. We log in again. So let's log in again. All right. So our inquiry is called mtd.ft.list. Let's launch it again. Great. Fantastic. As you can see now, amount is populated correctly. But again, uh, we have solved this problem partially. Uh, what the user wants is not to have a currency and amount in one field. So we should be able to display the amount, the currency here, and the amount here without uh, the currency. So how do we do that? So there are two possibilities. One, I will remove this field and we split uh, this field into two. We display currency and we display amount. Or we can keep this field, debit currency, and we remove the currency from this field. We only keep the amount. And this is the approach we are going to take. For that, we need a conversion routine. So our conversion routine is going to take this field, amount debited, and remove the currency to keep only the amount. So for each record, we are going to remove the currency. So the currency will be kept here in this column. And on this column, we only have the amount. Let's do that. So quickly here, let me create a new file. I'm going to name it uh, mtd.inc.conv.ft.debit.amount. So we want to convert the debit amount. Okay, so I'm going to use our snippet. All right. Now, here for inquiry subroutine, we need to insert another file. The file we insert for inquiries is called inquiry.common. So inquiry.common holds all the common variables which are used for inquiry. And since we are going to work with uh, fund transfer, let's also insert fund transfer file. So funds.transfer. All right. So we're done with our inserts. Now, let's see what we're going to do. Let's check again our inquiry. So this is what we have. We have a column of debit currency and debit amount holding both currency and amount. What we need to do is to remove this currency from this field and only keep the amount. So for that, we can make use of this column, the debit currency. We pick the currency and we use it to remove it from the, this column, debit amount. This one approach. Because amount debit, as you can see, it includes the currency. Okay. 
So for that, let's declare a variable. Let's say uh, debit, debit currency, and we can get it from R dot record, and it is ft dot debit dot currency. So we have the debit currency. Now, the last extracted value is going to be kept in a variable called audit data. So the audit data is defined in this uh, uh, common variable of inquiry. Okay. Now, we say we can use now the function change. We can make use of change. Then we say we want to change audit data. So we want to manipulate this our value audit data. We want to remove this debit currency, so meaning we get debit currency. We change it to empty. So what this we do, basically we have our audit data being, let's say we pick this, okay? Once you arrive at this a row, our audit data will look like this. What this we do, it will take this value and remove the currency. As you can see here, uh, at this stage, the currency is USD and it's the same as what we have here. So it is going to come and get this value and remove the currency, the corresponding currency. And at the end we have this, and this is what we want. Okay, good. Now let's create this subroutine on T24. So grab the name. Let me go to J share. I'll do Jed Mathis dot BP the name of our subroutine dot B. I grab the source code. Let me paste control V FI to save. Let's compile. We do inquiry i mtdft.list. Now we need to go to field 18.7.1. Okay, conversion. We do add and the name of our subroutine. We validate good. Okay, so we need to log out. Uh, let's try and browse as well. So let me close the previous opened. So I may need to log out. Let me log in again. Okay. So all right, so let's launch our inquiry again. So inquiry is called MTD dot FT dot list. All right. Fantastic. So as you can see, we now have our report properly formatted. Congratulations. So as you can see, we have successfully uh, converted our debit amount to the desired amount. So we have removed the currency and kept only the amount. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. You now know how to use a conversion routine. Please subscribe if you haven't, share and like this video. In our next video, we are going to see 
build routines. Stay tuned. See you next. Bye-bye.